On this tutorial, we're going to create a name generator that you can use either from code or from the visual editor. There is a game jam starting next week organized by the community, and the goal is to create Godot add-ons, so it might be a great opportunity to start creating one. If you have no ideas about what kind of add-on you can create, there's a list of ideas here at the end of the description, so you can read it and I'm sure you're going to find something that is interesting to you, or at least inspire you to create something original. So there are many different ways of add-ons. There's the add-ons that you have here on the inspectors, the ones that you have inside of the screen, the ones that you only see from the back end. So the one I'm going to show you how to create today is just a few steps of making one similar to what the logic is, which is a main screen plugin, and you will be able to generate random names for your characters. So the first thing we're going to need is to go to project, project settings, plugins, and there's a button here which is called create. Now Godot is going to ask for some properties that we need to fill. In this case, let's say name generator, the name of our plugin, the name of our folder, author, me, version 1.0. Language to the script. The script name is going to be plugin.b. We activate it now and we have our first plugin. That's it. Thank you for watching. No, no, but <laughs> let's continue. So now that we have our plugin, on the enter tree, you're going to initialize everything that you might need from your plugin and the exit tree, you're going to clean everything that you initialized. So let's create now one scene, which is going to be our main panel. It's going to be a control node container, box container, vertical box container. We have our container here and we're going to add two things. A button is going to be generate name and we're going to also add another container but it's going to be a horizontal one let's do another button for copying the name that we generated and a line edit so here we're going to draw the name we have let's go ahead and make this layout full rect and the input the size flag expand horizontal so we have it like that so this is what we're going to have on this new tab that we're going to create it's a very ugly ui but it's going to get the work done when we press here on generate name and then will show up here and then when we press on copy we're going to copy to the clipboard to use anywhere we want Let's save this and preload it in so const main panel Reload, we drag and drop this thing that we want, which is the main panel that we created. Let's make this bigger, okay. Now that we have it, let's create here an instance. So to save it, let's say main instance and main panel instance is going to be a main <laughs> panel instance. So what we're doing here is we're creating an instance that we can reference and the enter tree script is for initializing. That way we add it to the plugin and to the editor. And we need to clear it once the plugin is not being used. So if main panel instance exists, main panel instance q3. So now that we have this, we're going to add the instance that we created. First, we get the interface, the editor viewport, which is where we are working right now, like in Godot. And we add a child, which is this new scene that we created. We hide it. Now we tell Godot that we really want to have this as a main screen plugin instead of just like a regular plugin that runs in the background. And we need to bind the make visible function. In this case, the same as we did with the exit, if it is there, we can access it, so it's going to be visible. For the name of the tab that we're going to have here, we're going to need this function called get plugin name. This you need to return a string with the name of the plugin. And after this, our last one is having an icon. In this case, I'm only getting like the regular node icon, but you can pick anyone from the Godot editor or you can make your own image and use it there. Now that we have everything, we are going to go ahead and save. And the first thing you're going to notice when making plugins is that you're going to need to reload the editor a lot. 
in this case, since we're not doing a lot of stuff, we can go ahead and instead of reloading the entire editor, which there's like a, a reload current project, we're gonna reload the plugin. So we go to plugin settings in plugins. Here, when you have enabled, you disable it and you enable it again, and you see your plugin appears. Has the name from this string and the icon that we set here. We see the scene that we created. So this is the scene that we did, and nothing is happening here. We haven't added any code to it. But as you can see, the panels that we created are here. Even though you see the UI elements with the default Godot Ugly game theme, you're going to have them with the native theme once it's in the editor. If you want to style it properly, you're going to have to create themes and also probably adding some padding on the sides because here is all the way to the borders. We're going to ignore that and continue with the tutorial. Now that we have our visual part of it, let's create the code that will generate those names. So inside the add-on folder that I created, let's make a new script. The script is going to be the name generator. Well, the naming is not great, but okay. Let's remove everything and let's use the class name name generator. This will make it so that in every instance that you have, in every script that you have, you're going to be able to call name generator and any of the functions that you have here. If you want to learn more about class names, I'm going to leave some links in the description. But as with everything else in this tutorial, I'm assuming you already have some basic Godot knowledge. Otherwise, we're going to spend so much time covering every little thing. Let's create a new static function, which is new name. This new name function is going to have three arrays with the beginning of the name, the middle of the name and the end of the name. So we want to pick randomly from the list and show them to you all together. For that, we're going to need a small function as well to pick a random element from an array. In this case is going to be pick random. It's going to take an array and we're going to randomize it. You need this because otherwise the, the output is going to be always the same when you test it. Let's return the random of start, a random of the middle and random from the end. Let's go to our editor, create a new script for the main panel, and let's connect the, the button, connect, press, self, and let's create the on button pressed function so that we generate one of those names. We create a variable to store the name. We use the name generator new name, which is the function that we created. And now we set the line edit that we have here with the new name. And we print it on the terminal to know that it was working. When I save this, you're going to notice that nothing happens if I click it, even though the code was there. Because as always, we need to reload the editor. And another thing you have to have into account is that Godot needs to know that this script has to be executed on the editor and not on the game. To do that, you need to add at the beginning uh, the keyword tool. So that way Godot knows that, okay, this is something I need to execute in the editor. So the button connection and the button press are going to be working. Remember, if you don't see your script working, check that you have the tool keyword at the beginning. Now let's reload the plugin. We enable, disable it. And when we press here, we start seeing that we are generating names. They are not the best names, but you know, they are random names that you can use. Now we connect the copy button, we make the copy function, which will take the OS clipboard and add the text that we added previously, which is the name that we generated to the clipboard. Let's save and let's reload the project just in case. Okay, we reloaded the plugin. And when I generate the name, so it's let's press copy and I paste and it works. As you can see, there are many things that you need to take into account from the front end of the add-on to what functions you're going to be using and, and also handling what kind of plugin is going to be. But you can build on this as you would be building any game, saving data, loading data, or modifying existing files. Cool thing about doing it this way and now having a class name name generator is that if you have another instance in your game, and you don't want to use the name generator like this, but you want to use the function that we created. Let's save this as main. And imagine that this is 
a character that you have that it has here, like you want to add a, a cool name to it. Instead of going into the plugin here, creating one, copying and adding it here because you don't mind, you can create a script. And in that script, we can set on the label text. We can access the name generator. You see the class name that we did? And we do new name, which is the function that we created. And when we run the game, right now it doesn't have anything, but when we run the game, a name was generated. So not only your plugin will help them use the functionality from code, but also if they want to use it manually here, you can also do so. That's how I started building Dialogic. Then it grew into many other stuff. There's a lot of people working on it. There's a lot of stuff that I don't understand from the Godot editor, but the plugin is basically just what I showed you, taking to a different level. Looking forward to see your games on the add-on jam. I will try to participate if the time allows. And good luck with everything. Check the links. Bye.